Hello and welcome. I want to share some great information on keeping your digestion healthy. You know, digestion and your diet are fundamental to your health. And without that, you can have all sorts of health issues that you're just kind of chasing around, something I call um, symptom chasing. So always got to look at the fundamentals and make those strong. And that will be really supportive to your health. And today's tip is going to focus on digestion. I'm Christopher Carlo, doctor of acupuncture with the Acupuncture and Herbal Medicine Clinic here in Coventry. And uh, I deal with a lot of chronic health issues. And digestion is one of those specialties, one of those things I like focusing on. Even for myself, I, I've dealt with a long interest since I was probably a teenager in dealing with digestive health changing my diet and also optimizing my digestion so that I can absorb um, the important nutrients from the food. Sometimes we're focused so much on eating well, but we forget about digesting well. And how do we know when our digestion isn't working well? And you can look at some basic symptoms, for example. Oftentimes people might feel too full or bloated or feel gassy too much acid, you start to feel that um, the symptom of heartburn or acid reflux. Sometimes bowel movements are irregular. Um, you may have a dry stool or uh, too wet, too watery, too loose, clumps instead of being uh, you know, a well-formed stool. These are all things to pay attention to with your digestion. Even your sense of how you feel. You know, sometimes we have cravings and we feel anxious and stressed out and we find ourselves eating in an irregular way. That's just going to go in the wrong direction there. So today, I, today's tip, I want to focus on something that's very practical, something that's easy. You don't have to count anything in regards to calories or ounces. I want to focus on hydration and a hydration plan for you. And I know sometimes people are looking at how much they weigh and how many ounces they should be drinking a day. I think that's just getting a little too um, particular. And it, it causes stress in itself, worrying about something like that. I want to give you a kind of a how and why you should be hydrating yourself and, and drinking water to support digestion. Not just to hydrate the body, but to particularly support good digestion. Because if we have good digestion, we can digest our food well, we can absorb the nutrients well, our body can process those nutrients into the building blocks that we need to rejuvenate our body um, and maintain good health. Okay, so hydration. When, why, why should we drink? Okay, there's, there's a lot of different reasons. I'm going to focus on one. Because hydrating the body will supply the fluids that we need in our digestive tract to digest the food. For example, the stomach acid and the enzymes. You know, as we get older, the body doesn't work the same as when we were younger. I remember when I was younger, I could eat a lot more food. As I get older, I feel like I got to watch it. I can only eat so much. I don't want to feel all stuffed and bloated. And that's just, you know, as we age, digestion is not working as well. It's, it's not so full and strong. But you can do things to help with that. Okay, and so drinking enough water and at the right times is going to be important. You know, we have about five liters of body fluid. And within a course of a day, 10 liters of fluid flush through our digestive tract just to deal with the digestive process. To me, that's amazing. Twice as much body fluids is flushing through and being reabsorbed. You know, we, we, we can't have that, you know, we can't have that loss of fluids, right? That's what happens when we have, say, a stomach bug and we get diarrhea. But that's the body's um, kind of defensive response, trying to eliminate that stomach bug. But at the same time, we're getting dehydrated and it can be dangerous. So if you, if you tend to have something like that, you, it's very important to stay hydrated. 
and a little trick just to get kind of get off track here when it comes to um, having a, you know a stomach bug and diarrhea is to have a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar together that will actually stimulate the small intestine to reabsorb water because the problem with the stomach bug is it's affecting the large intestines job of reabsorbing water okay all that fluid is flushing through our system and the large intestines one of its responsibilities is to re reabsorb that water so we don't get hydrated dehydrated okay so here's the thing there's a pattern here to how to hydrate yourself you don't drink during meals that's not the time to hydrate yourself why why? Well, the answer is because you're going to dilute those important stomach acids from digesting the food. You know, when you put food in your stomach, there's acid that's produced to break and melt that food down into liquid so that it travels through the intestines well. And that, and if you drink a lot of fluids, you're going to change the pH of that acid and it's not going to be very acidic. It's, it's going to be more alkaline, perhaps, and it's not going to do a good job of breaking down that food. So that's why it's bad to drink while you're eating. And you're going to have to say that, you know, mom and dad and grandma and grandpa were correct. You know, when they say don't drink too much, oftentimes we think it's to fill it, it fills us up too much and then we don't want to eat. But it can also affect how we digest our food. And we dilute the stomach acids while we're, that is so much needed when we're eating. So I know sometimes you need to take a little sip to help swallow foods and all. And what I would say about that is when you chew your foods, chew them very well. Chew them until the food turns into liquid in your mouth. Then swallow it. Don't take two or three you know, bites and then swallow. You're going to have chunks of food you're trying to gulp down. It's going to be hard to hard to swallow so chew your food until it turns into liquid and then swallow it and while you're eating sit just sip a little bit of liquid if you need to you know water is always the best choice as far as I'm concerned and, and what I would recommend we're mostly water and then as far as hydrating the body when do we hydrate then if we don't drink a lot during our meals we should be drinking in between meals, okay? That way there, we don't dilute the digestive process and those digestive liquids that are secreted into the digestive tract. So hydrate in between meals. That way there, the, the water goes into the stomach through the intestines, it, get, it gets absorbed into the col you know, through the colon and into the body. Then that water is transformed into building blocks that the body is going to use to create those secretions into the digestive tract when it's time to eat. So later on, say, uh, you know, for a meal, you start getting a little hungry and those digestive juices start um, getting secreted and they start building. And this is, you know, this is going to be a good time to eat, obviously, and we're going to have good digestive support, good digestive secretions because we're hydrated and the body has that water base to build those building blocks, to create those secretions, to secrete into the digestive tract and support digestion and optimize it so it's strong, it's powerful, and we can absorb those all-important nutrients. You know, sometimes people are lacking nutrients, lacking vitamins, can't absorb calcium because their digestion is weak and they eat perfectly good food and or they're taking supplements that are difficult to digest because calcium is basically like a lot of supplements out there are kind of terrible. They're made out of limestone and the body has a hard time digesting rocks, you know. So uh, it's important to have good digestion and sometimes people are chasing things like, uh, okay, they've got uh, low levels of, you know, uh, bone, you know, their bone, um, you know, let, you know, they, they have uh, 
not good bone growth and they're not getting good absorption of calcium through their foods and they have to take a supplement. Well, maybe if you optimize your digestion, you'd have better uh, calcium absorption, mineral absorption, like iron, for example. So that's a, and it could simply be drink water in between meals. That's it. That's your hydration plan. Drink like an hour before meals and an hour after meals. Uh, a glass of water or a bottle of water. You don't have to get so particular and measure ounces and all. But I think an hour before and an hour after a meal, you have a bottle of water. That's two bottles, right? If you do three meals a day, that's about six bottles a day. And that's in between the meals. That would be a great hydration plan. Something basic, something to remember, something you can do, and that something can be really powerful to support a very important fundamental is digestion, which could create, a, you know, an abundance of wealth when it comes to good health in all areas. I mean, some people are getting headaches and constipation and they can't sleep and they feel irritable and they're chasing all those signs and symptoms, low energy. And it could be something simple as improve your digestion by hydrating in between. Try something like that and see if it works. Give me some feedback. I'd love to hear from you, and if you got questions, leave comments. And, you know, people find this information out through you sharing and liking, and that, that, that can be a very great thing to help other people in their health, in their quest to get on a good path for wellness and uh, optimize their health. I hope you found this tip helpful. And uh, keep an eye out for some more tips. I plan to do more of this because I find natural health important. And I want to share that with people outside of the work that I do within the clinic. All right. Have a great day. Keep on the sunny side. Stay well.